the 2020 Eastern Conference Finals is going to be the revenge for Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons, and the Philadelphia 76ers against the Boston Celtics with Ennis Kantar, with Taco Fall, with Kemba Walker, with Jason Tatum. This revenge is going to happen next year. The Boston Celtics are going to be a top three team in the Eastern Conference. The 76ers are going to be a number one seed. The Milwaukee Bucks are going to be the number two seed. And the Boston Celtics are going to be the number three seed in the Eastern Conference. And who knows who's going to be the fourth seed. Whether it be the Brooklyn Nets or the Indiana Pacers, I have no idea yet. We have the narrative set. It's either, it's either going to be the Warriors against the Celtics, it's going to be the Warriors against the 76ers, or it's going to be the Lakers against the Sixers, or it's going to be the Lakers and the Celtics. And the idea is to get the Butters to bet on the Celtics thinking, that, oh, Adam Silver wants Celtics against the Lakers. Caveat emptor. It's all about timing. That's going to happen in the year 21, Celtics and Lakers. Not this soon. This is about putting Joel Embiid and Ben Supermax contract, Ben Simmons in the NBA Finals. That's what it's all about, my brother. Here it is. Boston versus Philly for the right to face off against the Los Angeles Lakers, the LeBron James Lake Show, and the NBA's greatest player. Sorry, Giannis. We will get to this. We will get to the Sixers in the box in the conference semifinals. Giannis, sacrifice, equaling 73. Giannis knows deep down that the NBA wants to pit the East Coast against the West Coast for NBA Finals ratings. To put Canada in there in the year that LeBron is not in the NBA Finals. Sorry Giannis, the league hates Milwaukee, bro, and you just may ask for a trade. This sacrifice that's going to occur right after he faces off against the Sixers. The Sixers, Wells Fargo Arena. Is where this series should end at. Wells Fargo 76ers versus the Seas for the right to face off against Los Angeles. For the Lakers 17th title at 17. That has a gematria of 37 when you type into the gematria calculator. And clearly what happened in 2018 means that we have to see revenge for the 76ers against the Boston Celtics in the year 2020, which has a year numerology of 40. That is the Dematria value of revenge. It is Sixers versus C's. It also has a Dematria of 40. It is Sixers versus C's when you spell it out. That equals the Dematria value of the Los Angeles Lakers. So the winner of the 2020 Eastern Conference Finals is going to face off against the Lakers. Look at those brothers here. A playing, a playing guard. Kemba Walker and Jason Tatum. Philly versus Boston. These guys are, are I mean, they're just going to fall short. And those are the two guys Boston needs to win. And unfortunately, it's just not going to happen that way. And it's Conter playing with the Boston Celtics. Going to be part of this ultimate big man matchup. And it's Conter up against uh, Al Horford. Big Al, right? Big Al used to play for Boston. He's going to make it to the NBA Finals with the Philadelphia 76ers. Dimitri is why Horford played for the Celtics in the first place. Horford, Boston Celtics, he coined 48. NBA Finals rematch 20 years later between the Lakers and the Sixers. Philadelphia 76ers versus Boston Celtics is going to determine the NBA Finals rematch. And of course, as I have already said, with the Pythagorean of 65, that it would have to be Philadelphia. And that's exactly why I have the 76ers winning in, in six games against the Celtics. Boston is up 4-1 against the Sixers in the playoffs with, uh, what you call, Brad Stevens. Two wins for the Celtics brings in the six. 
Four wins for Philadelphia against Boston. Brings in the five with Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. Six and five is the Demetria value of Philadelphia in NBA Finals rematch. And that's exactly uh, what's going to happen that way. For Coach Brad Stevens, his 13th playoff win ever since losing the conference finals in 2018 is going to allow him to reappear in the Eastern Conference Finals. He won five games last year, four wins in the first round, and then four wins, his 13th win ever since losing to the Cavs. is going to book a ticket to the Eastern Conference Finals against the city where uh, we hosted the Continental Congresses for the original 13 colonies. This was over at Philadelphia. The significance about uh, what is going to happen. And now you see here, his 10th playoff win is going to be his 37th playoff win for Brad Stevens. He's going to win 10 games, and he's going to end the year with 37 career playoff wins because it's Philly that has that gematria of 37. And, and, and notice notice that it's Philly and it's uh, Kemba Walker and Jason Tatum that equals 82. So we know that this matchup is going to happen the way that it is for Coach Brett Brown. His 10th playoff win is going to uh, next year. It's going to give him his 22nd career playoff win. He, he is going to do so against Boston because it's Boston that equals 22. He's going to beat Stevens for playoff win number 23. It's Stevens that equals 23. It's Stevens that equals 104. It's the Celtics as Demacia of 104. This is why he coaches the Celtics. But the 76ers, Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons, much more experienced, are going to get their revenge against the new-look Celtics, passing the ball around, getting rid of Isok Abi Irvin, and then that's going to heat things up for next year, for 2020-21, with the return of Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. 